Okay, so... So there's two women playing poker. She puts two chips in. Oh wait, no. She put, she goes all in. She smirks. And wins. Charlotte? Victoria. So I guess we're co-writers again. Oh. So, what do we have to write? What did the producer say? He said that they're already shooting the movie, but the initial writers forgot to write a scene for two secondary characters. And now they're both on holiday. The writers or the characters? <laughs> if the characters were on holiday, would I be here with you? So here we are, left to finish their work. He said the characters both have a grudge to start with, so we have to tie up loose ends somehow. I mean, it's okay. I like the mystery, but it could be better. Let's start with the opening. It's in the garden, a beautiful green landscape. What? We open to find Riley and Denise staring into each other's eyes. No, no. What are you doing? This is way too lighthearted. You want the audience to have a nice time, right? Then just listen to me. I'm listening. Where was I? Okay, how about this? Wait, if you're starting again, forget the red room. It's ugly. Fine, I'll go green then. In a dark, dingy room, there's a security guard in the middle watching them. She goes all in. When she realises she has nothing, she does this. No, no, no! That's completely crazy! You want to kill one of the characters? We can't show that to kids. We've got to keep it PG-13. What do you think the producer would say? And their relationship? It's supposed to change for the better. But why? Okay, maybe the gun is a little heavy, Okay, but... just listen. Let's go with this. Instead of pulling out a gun, she pulls a flower out. You're completely ruining the story. This is... I just think we should make it, you know, fun to watch. A little bit of spice, a bit of romance. The characters have been nothing but indifferent the entire movie. But what a lovely surprise. They're playing cricket and all. But what if they started liking each other? Because they're enjoying the game so much. And they put down the bat. And they kiss. Whoa, 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 what on earth do you think you're doing? This is completely out of context. We might as well just add in aliens whilst we're at it. Or an attack from the security guard from my scene. What? What's wrong with a kiss? A kiss is always a good idea. Like wine on a Sunday morning. More likely, she gets annoyed and leaps from her arms. And then she gives her a good old punch. And then she pulls out a gun from somewhere and shoots her. You two need to pull it together. You aren't even listening to each other anymore. Victoria, I think we've gone quite mad. Crackers, perhaps. This. 
I, I just thought, thought what? The one game of cricket that would be all over each other? Like a worrying rat you should probably see IGP about. Ha, I told you! Shut it! If you think your ideas were any better, Victoria, our authorities would be happily rolling around in our own blood at the feet of a casino table right now. <laughs> so poetic. How can you be unhappy when we're the ones writing? Tell them, Riley. You know what it's like, writing and trying to write, scratching your head for days and need to have a character entrance say, hey, how are you? Nice weather outside, isn't it? Well, nobody cares. Nobody cares for characters who talk about the weather. Nobody cares for unrealistic interactions that tell us nothing. Oh, I certainly already see. But some days, when the temperature's just right, the characters come alive. They dance across your brain. You practically write themselves and you think to yourself, wow, am I really getting paid to witness the interaction of two fictional characters playing verbal ping pong in your head? I need to wake up the next day and find our lifeless corpses needing to be dragged from page to page in the hopes we come alive again. Well, guess what? We're alive today. Do you know what's not alive? Your cooperation. Two writers who know better. I'll just listen to each other. Please. She started it. Oh, for goodness sake. You were rude from the moment I arrived. Well, you were rude from the moment you were hired to rewrite my scripts ten years ago. Let's go somewhere more private. Cozy. Who are you? Don't ask me. Is that what this is all about? Those rewrites I did of the school play. The nativity untold true story. The clue was in the title. It was meant to be truthful. Shh. Victoria, why don't you call me? Tell Charlotte how those rewrites made you feel. They made me feel small and inadequate. I'm sorry. I had no idea how you felt about those rewrites. I promise you, adding King Arthur to the birth of Jesus Christ was forced upon me by powers beyond my control. It was just such lazy writing. I know. I know. Victoria, is there something you would like to say to Charlotte? I forgive you. And? I'm sorry too for my behaviour and for not speaking openly and honestly. Now, can you please finish the damn script? Without the kissing. Or the guns. Or cricket. Aliens? Aliens. No. I said coffee with sugar, but no cream. Your only job is to fetch me coffee, and you can't even... We... Can't you see I'm in the middle of a very important call right now? But we've finished the script. This better be worth me missing my coffee. Well, you could have at least typed it up. Yes, but it wouldn't have been as... Cinematic. Exactly. Well, I love it. 